Hello, good afternoon, good evening, good day, wherever you are. And welcome to this 30 minute to restore class. Super sweet, super short. Um, if you wanna grab a bolster, you can. Um, you don't have to have one, but I always recommend a body pillow. Bolsters are, can be a little pricey, um, but I have this body pillow. I've had it forever and it's really lasted me. Um, I'll turn this other light on for you. you can see a little bit better. There we go. Okay. Um, if you want to grab a strap, you can, but you don't have to have a strap. Um, that's more of a preference or any blocks or anything like that. This is just going to be a super restorative, resting class with God. So just come into your seat. Roll your shoulders down your back. Maybe even bring your hands onto your heart and just take a few breaths here, just centering, entering into this space. Begin to notice how you're arriving here. Maybe what's coming up. And just see if you can just sit with that. Just a breath or two. And maybe taking it just a little bit further. Whatever's coming up for you, can you just give that over to God? Can you just place that maybe right next to you in your seat? Just lay it down before him. Resisting any urge to move or get up. Resisting any thoughts. Just allow this quick meditation to wash over you. It's from the a church that I went to in Charlotte called Watershed, Our Deepest Fear. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful without measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, and fabulous? But actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. And there is nothing enlightening about shrinking, so other people won't feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine as children do. We are born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It is not just in some of us, it's in every one of us. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. Allow yourself to have some time to reorganize your space and time. Give yourself time to rest, to heal, to linger, to cry. Lay it all down before God. Resist the temptation to feed into any unnecessary words or thoughts. Resist the thought that you are anything less than. And know that you are a child of God. You are loved beyond measure. You are meant to shine, dear one. Just like God shines brightly within you. Turn your hands onto your heart if they're not already there. And just find the ebb and flow of your breath. Gently, whenever you're ready, blink your eyes open and come into your seat. If you want to find um, a hero's pose, you can stay in that or you can um, cross your legs and move on to your sits bones. We're just gonna do a few little twists um, today. We're gonna do a restorative twist here, so that's why we have our, our bolster. Before we do that, see if you can reach your palms high towards the sky. Spread your fingers. Either close your eyes or bring your gaze towards the sky. And then bring your hands to heart center. See if you can match your movements with your breath. Inhale, reaching up, looking up. You can even keep your eyes closed if you'd like. Hands to prayer center. Finding one more big breath in. 
And then exhale, maybe even sighing it out. So beautiful. Just using the sacred space to just be with God. Laying it all down. Bring your left hand to your right knee. Bring your right arm back behind you. And just come into a gentle twist here. Reach the crown of your head high towards the sky. Inhale, lengthen. And then exhale, twist. Finding one more, maybe looking over your right shoulder. And then exhale, twist. Just being gentle and kind here. And gently make your way over to the other side. Just finding that little twist. Either looking over to the side or maybe even over that left shoulder. See if you can really lengthen the crown of your head towards the sky. Inhale. And then exhale, twist. Just twisting out any thoughts that are lingering, anything that doesn't serve you. And slowly come back to center. Gently make your way to child's pose. Take your knees out wide. <clears throat> Just bring your toes to kiss and then walk your palms all the way up towards the top of your mat. Let your head hang down. Just deepen your breath here. Resisting any need to be in control, resisting the wild mind. And allowing this verse, 1 Peter 5, 8 to 10, to wash over you from the um, Passion Version. Be well balanced and always alert, because your enemy, the devil, roams around incessantly like a roaring lion looking for its prey to devour. Take a decisive stand against him and resist his every attack with strong, vigorous faith. For you know that your believing brothers and sisters around the world are experiencing the same kinds of troubles you endure. And then, after your brief suffering, the God of all loving grace, who has called you to share in his eternal glory in Christ, will personally and powerfully restore you and make you stronger than ever. Yes, he will set you firmly in place and build you up. Finding the natural ebb and flow of your breath. And knowing that you're not alone. If you're in a place of suffering, knowing that it's only brief. And then even if it doesn't make sense now that God is making all things good, will set you on that firm foundation. Resisting the temptation resisting the evil one and just coming closer and closer to God in this space. Choosing to stay in your child's pose or we're just going to find one float or just kind of wake us up, open the body and then find more restorative poses. So if you want to stay in your child's pose, you're more than welcome to or gently make your way to your downward facing dog, reach your heels, hover your heels over the mat and reach your hips high towards the sky. Maybe pedal out your knees here. Soften your face and your forehead. And just see if you can let go here for just a breath or two. Walk your feet all the way up towards your hands. Find your forward fold. Let your head hang here. Bend your knees. Maybe shake your head yes and no. Letting go of any tension. Maybe even bend your knees just a little bit deeper. Feeling that deeper stretch in your low back. Taking one more breath in. And then exhale, side out. Round down into your feet. Let go of your bind if you have one. Lift and spread your toes. Bend your knees a little bit deeper here. And then simply root to rise, reaching your palms up high. Spread your fingers. Big breath in. 
And then exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Just coming closer and closer to God in this space. Filling up with the Holy Spirit and just allowing him to just wash over you. Using a space to just find rest and silence and stillness. Knowing that you're exactly where you're meant to be, right here. Big breath in, feel the chest rise. And then exhale, sigh it out. Reach your palms back up towards the sky, inhale. And then exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, flat back. And then press your palms into the mat. Step your right foot and then your left, either finding your downward facing dog, child's pose, or finding one flow if you like, since this is restorative, just listening to your body here. Roll your shoulders down your back. And then moving through your table, downward facing dog. So beautiful. One more breath in your downward facing dog. Let it go. And then back to child's pose. Just finding rest here. See if you can just really find a really restful child's pose if you've been there the whole time. Um, just finding rest in here deeper and deeper. So begin to really deepen your breath here. Big breath in. And then simply sigh it out. Relaxing your whole body. Maybe even resisting the temptation to move. Resisting the temptation to think about what you're doing later or what you did yesterday and just come into this space. One of my favorite books of the Bible is James. I just, I think James is so direct. And for me personally, I need more directness. Like I need more, um, I just need it clear and to the point. And James 4, 7 says, so then surrender to God, stand up to the devil and resist him and he will turn and run away from you. 4, 8 continues and says, the closer you come to God, the closer he comes to you. So just use the sacred space to just come closer to God. Resist that temptation. Just slow down and just be. Staying in child's pose for as long as you would like to, or gently make your way into your seat, extending your legs out in front of you. If you have a strap, I left mine over here. You can go ahead and grab it if you would like to. You don't have to have a strap, but if you wanted to try something different, we're just gonna find a forward fold. Extending your legs out long, flex your feet. Maybe take that strap if you have one. You can have a belt, a scarf, and bring it right in the center of your feet there. Bring your elbows by your sides. Maybe even bend your knees a little bit deeper. Maintaining that straight spine and then just simply hinge over your hips. Just breathing into your low back. Simply relax your face here. Maybe hinging over your hips a little bit deeper while maintaining that straight spine. If you don't have a strap or if you wanna let go of your strap, you can and just bring your palms right by your either side of your legs. Finding the natural ebb and flow of your breath. Finding one more inhale. And exhale, open your mouth and sigh it out. So lovely. Slowly begin to rise and bring your right um, knee in toward your chest here. Flex your left foot. We're just gonna find ourselves in a twist. So wrap your left arm around your right knee and just swirl that right arm back behind you. See if you can flex your left foot, 
and pull the crown of your head high towards the sky. You can either, either look over to the side wall or you can even look over that right shoulder. Inhale, lengthen. And then exhale, twist. Just breathing into that twist. See if you can soften. Finding rest in every pose. Inhale, lengthen, and then exhale, twist, maybe just a little bit deeper. And then slowly bring that right knee down. Bring your left knee to the palm of your right foot. Grab your bolster. I know I teach this. If you take this restorative class with me a lot, I always teach, I teach this class, I teach this pose a lot. It's one of my favorites. So you can choose to stay here for as long as you would like to. Um, I personally love it. So um, flex both of your feet. The palm of your right foot is um, touching your left thigh. And make sure if you have that bolster, just kind of bump it right next to your right, um, your right thigh there. Coming into your twist, so just kind of twisting yourself a little bit deeper. You can choose to stay upright if you'd like, or you can just hinge right over that uh, onto your pillow, bringing your right cheek or your left cheek if you want a little bit more onto the mat or to the bolster of the pillow. Wherever you are, just kind of kind of get comfortable here, finding that sweet spot. And then once you do, just begin to soften. Just coming into this sacred space, coming closer and closer to God. Using the space to just be with him and take about five to six breaths here on your own. If you can become perfectly relaxed in stillness and silence. Just laying it all down here. Choosing to stay here for as long as you would like to. Whenever you feel ready, it's no rush at all. Just make your way over to that other side. So just slowly rise and then just find yourself on your other side. Bringing that left palm of your foot to your right knee. Maybe finding that twist and just staying up right here. Or bring your left cheek or maybe even your right onto the bolster here or the pillow and just find rest on the opposite side, breathing into that twist, letting it all go. Finding one more big, expansive breath in. Open the mouth and sigh it out. So lovely. Staying here if you like, or simply rising. And then just find that twist on the opposite side, extending your right leg out long. Bring your left knee in towards your chest. Wrap your right arm around your left knee, and then just swirl that left arm back behind you. Flex your right foot. 
knowing you can stay in any pose for as long as you would like to. If you want to stay in your restorative twist, if you're like me and just love it, you can stay right there. If you're in the seated twist, reach the crown of your head high and then exhale, twist looking over that left shoulder. And then slowly coming back to center. Gently make your way onto your back, removing your bolster. Or actually you can keep it there if you like. We're just gonna do a restorative um, fish pose. I can show you both ways. So if you wanna keep your bolster there, you can. I'm gonna show you how to do that in, in a minute unless you already know and you just wanna fall right back on your, your pillow there. Or if you want, if you don't have a bolster, if you wanna try it without it, just bring your palms right underneath your seat here, just a little bit, underneath your low back. Come onto your elbows. Walk your elbows a little bit closer together. Reach your heart towards the sky. Really pressing your, your heart high. Pressing into your elbows. And if it's okay on your neck, just simply let your neck hang. Point your toes, coming into your fish pose. Breathing into your shoulders, your chest. Just holding that for a breath or two. If that's too much, you can come right onto your bolster. The object here is kind of press your shoulder blades into your bolster and really open up the heart here. So if you're on your bolster, you can just press your palms towards the sky and just linger here. Breathing into that heart space. Coming closer and closer to God, reorganizing your thoughts, resisting any temptations. If you're on, if you're doing fish without a bolster, you can slowly make your way onto a to your back. You found your sweet spot and you want to just surrender here, calling this your Shavasana, that's a-okay. Or you can bring your knees in towards your chest, finding one last little twist, coming into your supine twist, extending the opposite arm out long. Finding that natural ebb and flow of your breath. Gently make your way over to the other side. Last little twist of class. Back to center. Bring your knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a hug. Maybe find your waterfall, happy baby. Whatever you need before Shavasana, take that now. If you're ready for Shavasana or your surrender pose, maybe squeeze in just a little bit tighter here. And as you squeeze, take a deep inhale. Maybe even holding at the top. And then exhale, open out. Take your legs out wide, face your palms towards the sky, maybe resting back on your bolster. Find one more big expansive breath in through the nose. Exhale, let it go. Shavasana. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful without measure. It is our light 
not our darkness that frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, and fabulous? And actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. And there's nothing enlightening about shrinking, so other people won't feel insecure around you. You are meant to shine as children do. We are born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It's not just in some of us, it's in every one of us. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. Allow yourself to have some time to reorganize your space and time. Give yourself time to rest, heal, to linger, to cry. Lay it all down before God. Resist the temptation to feed into any unnecessary words or thoughts. Resist the thought that you are anything less than. Know that you are a child of God. You are loved beyond measure. You are meant to shine, dear one. Just like God shines brightly within you. Slowly well, we begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Maybe choosing to stay here for as long as you'd like to, maybe even turning your device off and just being here in the space. When you're ready, find yourself in a feel good morning stretch, spread your fingers, spread your toes. Roll over to whatever side you prefer. Bring your knees in towards your chest and give yourself one last little hug. Remembering who you are and whose you are. Remembering how loved you are. And thanking God for all the blessings for this time. For his love. And thank yourself for showing up. Make your way to your seat. Bring your hands onto your heart. Close your eyes. Finding one more big breath in through the nose. And then exhale, let it go. Thank you, God, for loving us. We're so honored and blessed to be your kid, for your, to be your children. Help us to walk closer to you and resist the temptations, resist the things that just don't serve us. And help, to help us to reorganize our lives, to be more like you, become more in alignment with you. Match our hearts to yours. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Namaste. Thank you for joining me. So lovely. Um, 
few announcements. I'm doing a six day yoga challenge starting next Tuesday. I'm so excited. Um, if you're interested, you can sign up. There's a link in my Instagram bio and somewhere on my Facebook bio. If you need more information about that, you can also just reach out to me. Um, I have like a sheet of what to do for the six days. Um, and then we'll also probably have like a separate Marco Polo group for that. If you want to be joined in, I know those of you in Marco Polo, were all like Marco Polo ended up. Um, there was an, oh, and the, the book study, the, the book club for present over perfect. It's not too late to join. Um, we're going to be talking about part two, August 21st, uh, at noon Eastern standard time. So if you want to, um, join in on that, you are more than welcome to do so as well.